Hello everyone and welcome to today's conversation around sick people in technology. The weirdest experience I'm having is watching these people who are at Aspen Ideas Festival, reminding you that they're not from Colorado and I am. And I lived there for a long time to know the energy of what Colorado offers. And they're completely clueless on human characteristics. And as well, it's very, it's very multidimensional because when you go from place to place, you're, you're dealing with people from the region. You're dealing with advancement in technology. You're dealing with the fact that Aspen is a mile high state, like it's like high elevation. So you're dealing with lack of oxygen to the brain and you're dealing with fake people while trying to appease an audience while you you're convincing them of your education, but you're really not that smart. You're really not that smart. These people are really, really aggravating and it's hard to unravel the aggravation because it is the blue ocean bloody market of nasty strategy to get one, to get what they want while utilizing human emotion to downplay human emotion while pretending that it's a good thing when there is no lid on the top of something that needs a lid. We've got a dude on here who's, who wants to study cult-like behavior of why people are drawn to a brand. You don't even fucking know what a brand is. The dude doesn't even know what brand is. Now, as I continue this video, I'm actually going to walk over there so that you as audience can see what I'm speaking to. So I want to make sure you are able to see the personality of what I'm trying to bring awareness to. Notice that DoorDash is promoting ice cream as a form of political propaganda. For every small business during the pandemic when they weren't getting business. So without much... Without further ado, let's play the video and then we can talk about it. And let's watch this video too. Big brands have big money to hire famous people, but not the small guys. And they're the ones who are still hurting. Presenting Shah Rukh Khan. Are you hurting? She's telling us, this Indian lady is telling us in this video that he's, this dude right here is a, is bigger than Brad Pitt. I'm going to tell you right now, that man is not bigger than Brad Pitt. And he almost certainly has more devoted fans than any other movie star in the world. The biggest movie star in the world. Forbes have called him one of the biggest movie stars in the world. We help small businesses by making Shah Rukh Khan the world's biggest movie star, their brand ambassador. This Diwali, you are not from your fashion of emporium. Se hi we used machine learning to recreate Shah Rukh Khan's face and voice to take the local store names in the ads. Wake up! Royal Fashion Sehi, NK Clothes. What is this? Luxury Collection Sehi. Different versions of the same ad with local store names were targeted. This is correction, folks. Of the viewer, showing them only the nearby Noting stores. the CBS. It is impossible to cover all the stores. So we gave the power to the people to create their own version of Shah Rukh Khan, my ad. Any small business owner could promote their stores through their own social media networks like WhatsApp forwards and other social media pages. It is Shah Rukh Khan selling your store, man. If, if you're a small selling your soul? Store. Yeah, that's exactly what, what you're doing by watching this shit. Even ad campaign that has gone by. A new ad which stars Bollywood superstar Shah Rukh Khan is winning hearts all over social media. And what we're learning is that over one lakh local stores have already created their own ad which are the brand ambassador. Dukhano ke na, which is celebrations ke Diwali ad ne. Shah Rukh Khan, my ad. This ad is is garbage. That was so cool. 
<laughs> that um, wasn't also, cool. It's like that's obviously the biggest celebrity in India. But can you imagine um, if if actors in the U.S. were doing that? It would just be really transformative for small businesses. Um, so she says, what if actors in America were doing that? It would be transformative for small business. First of all, that commercial, I have no fucking idea what you were selling except for the actor itself. Your advertising is bullshit. Yeah, that woman that I just showed you in the center there, she actually won awards at Cannes Lions, which tells you that they're absolutely up to nothing. They're trying to take human out of human and create some weird form of future technology that you used to see in movies as the new norm. It's fucking weird. That's really actually how Indian people are fucking weird. Your, your content is garbage. Your shit's not creative. I mean, shit, I can post a bunch of nonsense garbage where I just flap shit up in people's faces and blink in their eyes of somebody who looks to someone else. He wasn't attractive to me. He was gross. And then he goes like this. You're kidding, right? You think that's, you think that's advertising? I watched it with all of you and I really honestly do not know what she was trying to sell on except for an actor. Did I just repeat myself? Did I just repeat myself and tell you that I really am not sure that that, that what she just showed is not intelligence? See, they mask the truth of what's actually going on. All she did was use mind tricks that they've been learning at Cannes for the last few years to manipulate you with blinking lights, with lines of photographs, with the impressions, impression on you that your content will go viral. You don't know what the ad was about. You don't know what the man stands for. You just know that he looks cool and he looks cool doing it. And that voice behind them as they, you know, this is a sign to stay back. Modern day marketing of a global capacity where no one gives a shit about other people while they sit on their pedestals on a stage in Aspen and act like they're using AI for creative. That's not creative. Nothing about what you all have done with AI is brand building, nor is it creative. That's the really, it's hard for you to fucking imagine because you think you're, you look so good. You think you're so high on life. That's called high on your own supply, you dumbasses. So all she did was look at that videography and think that's good for manipulation and then doesn't recognize that it's manipulation, thinks that it just looks good. Meanwhile, she uses her Indian status, her status of position in her job, her status of the awards that she got at Cannes Lines for doing horrific content. And then now sits on a stage and says, I know everything and this is how it's going to go. And then you as an audience just say, yeah, that's how it's going to go. Are you fucking kidding me right now? You're just going to say that's how it's going to go so that your infants are enslaved into the, the, the form of what an Indian bitch in the United States of America wants you to think when she's obviously not American because she has an Indian accent. And don't forget the black, black dude that's sitting to her left, which is super awkward and totally robotic. If you are going to tell me that as any form of a human being in professional business, that that's normal ways to speak to an audience, you've lost your fucking mind. It's boring as shit. The problem with you all is you want this big clout chasing money bag. You have no personality. You have no ethics, nor, and more importantly, you don't even really have a personality. A person with a personality knows that that's not fun to be around. A person, understand what I just said. A person naturally who has a personality naturally has ethics and morals because they know that operating under this type of nasty nonsense is not a good life, it's a bad life. 
Whether you're carrying a, a fake Prada diamond or a real diamond, they know either way, none of that shit fucking matters because they'd rather go to a party where they can wear the color dress that they want and have a good time where they laugh, joke, and have real conversation versus sitting on a, a pool deck where they talk about how victimized they were by their fans and followers to get the sympathy of the audience. Well, they then go make a, a corrupt piece of content with what's her face, Charlie D'Amelio, who has no fucking brain. See, this is the key for her brand. She has no fucking brain. Yet Prada thinks it looks cool for the diamond for her to act like she's looking at the diamond as if she's a geologist. That's sick. That's mental illness. So what does that tell you about Charlie D'Amelio if she's mentally ill? She's mentally ill. She's only done this in her whole life. She didn't even have the capability or capacity to, in her own brain, think, I want to go to college. And then Dixie has the fucking gall to sit on a stage and say that I want to go to college. Yet we all know what her college is going to be, which is a free degree where she doesn't go to college, but she uses it as a publicity stunt like who? Kim Kardashian. What part of that don't you think is fucking whacked out and weird? So Dixie D'Amelio planted a seed in the audience that she's going to go to college, not going to go to college, not going to learn shit, but wants to occur as if she's intelligent because you're all wising up to their bullshit. Then you're going to have sympathy for her because she's young and she's so sweet. To where you're then going to accept the, the TMZ conversation where she holds books, walks on a campus, and says, I went to, here's my degree. And then now she's going to have status. And that's really what they're trying to create when it comes to marketing. While they tell you not to go to college. The grateful thing I have for those of you who haven't gone to college is that you didn't go to college, but you don't have brains. So that actually makes it easier for me to expose your dumb, your dumb lack of creativity. Why do you go to college? Because it brings creativity. Surprise. Even if you get some shit degree in uh, general business, business administration, or art, an art degree, whatever it is, Going to a college that actually has education, where you take history and English and math, it's all storytelling. No, the Republican way, because it has to be grounded in real information, not emotions and feelings, because that's creativity. That's why you have people like Republicans who uphold law and order so that we can have people of creative, because not everybody wants to be creative. Some people want to be scientific, but these fucking idiots are telling us that everybody wants to be creative and how they're using AI is literally not creative. They're moron. This, this is absolutely moronic. Let's take a listen. So before you get the reaction to that, the panelists, Devika, what was the reaction to this? And was there a demand for, for more things like this? Uh, yeah, I mean, we still have every uh, partner of us coming to us to say, we'd like Asha or Khan, um, which we obviously can't do it because we need to make brands different. Mm. But I'm not really sure what you were selling. So what they did sell on was his career because what she said is they said people came to her and they wanted him in their commercials. So they sold him, not the product. And then she said, we have to make brands different. So now what she did is she put that actor in a box. And that's called controlling of slavery. See, his little ass thinks that he's hot shit because he got some attention. However, not the kind of attention that somebody wants. And they had the fucking audacity, if I didn't say it before, to say that he's bigger than Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, I don't fucking think so. One of the best things I want to share today is we asked ChatGPT if um, 
Chachapika come up and Shah Rukh Khan my ass. And I'm going to... Shah Rukh Khan my ass? Yeah. Read you. It's a very long uh, response, but I'm going to read you a bit of it. Yeah, please do. The concept of an advertising campaign, especially one featuring a specific celebrity like Shah Rukh Khan for Cadbury celebration, involves a blend of creativity, blah, 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 four paragraphs. <laughs> and then it says, in summary, while AI can be a valuable tool in certain aspects of advertising, the conceptualization of a campaign, especially one involving a celebrity and cultural nuances, remains a distinctly human endeavor. So what she's saying is, is that summary of what chat gtp is doing this is literally perfect they're brainwashing you into how they want you to behave then at the end of it they say but we want to let you know you need to be human go tell that to a four-year-old who you consistently tell how to behave Go tell that to a slave who's been a slave their whole life and then all of a sudden they're no longer a slave. That's study for that's a study aspect for you, loser, who says you want to study people's branding. Understand what I just did in that conversation about that that instruction of how to wake the fuck up to what you're actually up to. Your brain is this small. My brain is this big. You have no fucking way of getting yourself out of a fucking paper bag, yet you're sitting on a stage in Aspen Ideas Festival spewing out garbage to teach more people about fucking garbage while trying to bring in human emotion, which you fucking know nothing about. It's all ego. It's all about you. It's all about colors and glitter and glamour with no substance at the baseline, which means that you're a terrorist. And now we have a shitty commercial that's evil. A whole lot. Of that's why I love rituals. They sell out Pills. And that's what they're teaching people how to behave. Oh, fuck off, Lisa, which is another parent at the drive through line. And that's actually the evolution of millennial and Gen Zs to each other. And they call that friendship. Democrat. Uh, that's Obama's doing, by the way. And then they say, be nice to me. I have anxiety. Hi, baby. See, all this modern day weird ass shit doesn't mean shit. It's weird. It's not even interesting. It's just awkward. It's, it's all sex based. While Elon Musk tells us that the population is decreasing. I'm sorry, but you have how many kids? And how many people have twins and triplets and shit? That's weird. So you're creating eugenics. You're creating control. Your faces look weird as fuck. Your personalities are robots. Listen to this. Homes.com. Let's say you're in an accident. You get hurt. Well, that injury could be worth millions. Insurance companies will often lower clients' claims. Boring. No brand. That is not brand. So that's really what this is all about. This intersection. You don't know brand. Ingenuity right. and technological capabilities. So America is from your experience and perspective and all the research you've seen. So from your experience, from your perspective, from all the things that you've seen. Consumers, and we were talking before about demographic differences. I'm curious about how consumer that uh, across the demographic spectrum. Demographic, yeah. demographic, democratic, democratic, demographic. Mental illness, because guess what? The bitch doesn't even know that she's doing it. It's called brainwashing. So she's brainwashed, he's brainwashed, she's brainwashed, and he's brainwashed. They have small brains and don't even think they're brainwashed. Surprise, you are not human, you're fucking robots. To technology like this, they know this is AI generated. They're, they would have to be AI generated. And now you're gonna convince us you know because you're gonna try to look smart. I'm here to tell you, you think you're thinking for yourself, but you're not. Are people wary? Do they like it? I think 
Um, and then his response is positive. I think they like it. Really? You do? How, why? These things where it's a new sort of engine that drives a lot. So now it's an engine. A creativity. And I a creativity. As long as brands and... and as long as brands and services organizations, and services organizations are smart enough, smart enough to, not get seduced by to not get seduced by the tool itself. The tool itself. What does that mean? You're seduced by the tool because you still haven't said shit to assist an audience on creativity or evolution in conversation associated to the question that she just asked. I'll say this. What are people interested in the technology of AI? In my experience, they like looking good. That's what you're seduced by. What do they like about my content that's branding and Gary Vee's content that's actual branding? Is they like the education, the information, and the ability to get deep into thought around how to build a brand around themselves, utilizing tools that AI can assist them in. Human. To better the world. To make things better. To make our lives easier in the sense of figuring out the fact that when something doesn't work, it's not working and seeing it quicker and faster so that you can put out fires. And then doing it in a way that's a, a way of peacefulness and then eventually brings joy and then eventually comes up again and then the realization of it happened again and then you're just getting really fast at realizing it. But that's my story, not yours. So you figure out your own shit. See, what he wants you to think is that he's the God of the gods. He doesn't want you to get curious. He just wants you to agree to whatever he says. I want you to disagree. I want you to get in thought. Oh. Uh, tool is really there to help facilitate a creative process or amplify it. Facilitate a, a creative process. How many more times are you going to say creative process? What is a creative process? He doesn't know. He doesn't know what a creative process is. He doesn't know what any of this shit is. He just knows that it's colors, it's bells, it's whistles, it's lights, it's copies of my content. And then he's sitting on a stage acting as if he wrote it. I wrote it. This is my work at Aspen Ideas, where they took it and they acted as if it was theirs. And then what they did was they finagled their way to make money once again off of my fucking content while teaching you absolutely nothing. Creative process. Creative process. Oh, now, they're, now you're savvy, everybody. Transactions. Create engagements and, and transactions. Wow. Create engagement and get transactions. You're kidding me, right? Create engagement and get transactions. Oh, so now we're in money talks. So now all you're going to do is talk about money and creativity and how they're co uh, commingled together. Turn them off as well. So I think there's a fine line to be able to create this creative content. This is what I'm speaking about when I'm trying to talk to you about the lack of intelligence that occurs as intelligent. The lack of intelligence that comes out of these people's mouths, meaning you can watch the debate and you can hear Donald Trump speak to facts, to facts, to facts, to facts, to action, to what happened, to uh, all sorts of different ways of like human communication. While Joe Biden speaks to what these people are speaking to, pie in the sky conversation, let's listen a little bit more. That's resonant and drive a really powerful value proposition for consumers. Value proposition. A situation where they're immediately turning off or tuning out because they recognize that, hey, this is just... And now you're sitting in the audience going, okay, uh, creative. Oh, that was such a great event. Another one of these attempts to like... And then don't forget about his weird ass fucking personality. Money. 
So deep fakes can be used strategically, but shouldn't be used too much. Shouldn't be used too much. And I think consumers are smart. And so we're- You're smart. You're great. You're smart. You're great. You're smart. You're great. You're smart. You're great. You want to hear you're smart. You're great. What do I want to hear? I want to hear that's not good. I want to do better. What do I need to do to do better? Well, this didn't work and 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 that didn't work. None of it worked. Are you serious? Okay. Well, let me just try this. That's what I want. But all you want to hear you lazy fucks is how great you are, how hot you are, how you don't have to lift a finger. That's what you actually want. That's why you didn't like my shit in the beginning because I actually called you out on your shit. And then they retaliated in the war zone of the, the whores to tell me that I wasn't enough when I was better than all of them put together. Well, then you paraded yourselves around trying to show it all off. And guess what you did? You made me stronger than all of you put together. Stronger than all of you put together. And then I brought Donald Trump along for the ride. And I brought Gary Vee along for the ride. And I brought some of you along for some of the ride. They're always sort of looking for something that's... So every time you see that bitch standing next to Gary Vaynerchuk, all you ever do is think about where's Cassandra? Where's Cassandra? That's all you ever think about. And then you think about her, you say, she's dumb. She's so annoying. Why is she here? Her content is so ridiculous. Why is she here? I wish this undercover operation would be exposed. Where's Cassandra, Gary? Gary, where is Cassandra? That's all people think about when they see Gary V. Where's Cassandra? I can't wait to see Cassandra and Gary on stage communicating. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I cannot wait until Donald Trump takes these people out. That's all people care about right now. They only care about me and they care about Donald Trump. They care about Gary Vaynerchuk and they care about me. They're grateful for what I've done. They can't stand Hollywood and influence, yet they are still being bombarded and they continuously move in and out of spaces of confusion but really, you're getting very, very good at waking up. That is what AI is going to do to us with Donald Trump. It's going to bring awareness into people of Aspen. Remember, I'm from Colorado. They're not. I'm actually feeling joy right now because I love Colorado so much. I know, I get really intense. I'm sorry. It's, how, it's, it's what you have to do to battle this. Because what's happening in the audience is you're trying to uh, strong arm me. And you're not gonna strong arm me. And that's the way business works in the modern day Democrat technology of the blue ocean bloody market. While they're trying to look seductive and sadistic and convince you of things that just are not true. Do you understand what it means to build a brand? It's like being a dental hygienist and having an office and the dentist is there and then you're the brand and he's a brand and together you work with a patient to get the patient back to health. But instead of it being dental as the service, it's a product like makeup, Cassandra's makeup. Because I'm the brand and you know that I have integrity behind myself and that I would do my best even if I make a mistake. Now, this is a key here because they're going to play you on this one. Even if I make a mistake when it comes to makeup, you've known me long enough that sometimes, not sometimes, it could happen where I get duped by somebody else or that I make a wrong decision. But that doesn't really happen very often. Because guess what? I'm grounded in good intent, good intentions. It's called being in the Amazon of the makeup bullshit. And by the way, I don't really want to start a makeup company. It was all hypothetical. So do you understand how people can sabotage someone else's business? But who suffers? That would be you as a customer. 
So what would I do if something like that happened? I'd give you your money back. You're not gonna sue me because you don't, you trust in me that I would never do anything to harm you. Too bad if you don't like the color, too bad if you don't like the product, too fucking bad. You had ample opportunity to make the right decision for yourself. That's brand for me. I let you make your own decisions. In the box, it says, try this on your skin before you, because someone got sued in the past. So you need to take a look at everything that I'm saying in this conversation as hypothetical, but totally realistic. You don't live in your own mind anymore, folks. You're like being bombarded by AI alien demon shit of shallow, sadistic, um, it's pukey. Uh, Taylor Swift is garbage. Like you can't really be serious that, you know, let me tell you something. If I were to perform on stage three days a week for three hours, you would literally be a machine in business or a machine in whatever you'd be working out. Your dreams would be uh, uh, in formation. What does that mean? Meaning you don't necessarily want to be a famous person, but they're telling you, you do, you don't, you don't want to do this because I assure you that you will turn evil. Why would you want to be evil? Why wouldn't you want to live a relaxed, easy life? The, the, the fact of Donald Trump saying, I'd rather be golfing is a fucking real shit. Why do you hire Donald Trump? Because then you don't have to worry. You don't have to be angry and you can enjoy 4th of July celebrations. You can even forget for a moment or an instant that the Independence Day was 4th of July because you got so drunk that you passed out. But guess what? You were safe. That's Donald Trump. That's why you elect people like Donald Trump to uphold law and order so that trannies of the Democrat system don't try to fuck with your mind when you get too drunk and then all of a sudden you wake up next to a tranny who looks like a woman and realize you got fucked in the ass. That's what Joe Biden wants for you. Reminding you that I lived in Colorado for five years. I'm very, very secure in my air, the air of Colorado, my mountains that I adore and love and they know that I love them. And yes, I've been to Aspen I've been all over Colorado, folks. You have no appreciation for anything that Aspen has to offer or Snowmass or Glenwood Springs, which is right up the street. So they live in a fantasy land that they're the only ones that ever go to Aspen. Now, I actually dro uh, drove Independence Pass by myself. Anybody out there who's an adventurer drove on Independence Pass? how fucking scary that shit is. Guess who did it by themselves? And the most amazing experience of my life of adventure and fear. And yes, Tom Cruise would love it because that's probably where my fear of heights came in. However, what you do is you fly in. This is what they do. They fly in on their private airplanes. They show up at the fancy hotels. They look at the mountains and say, oh, wow. Use it as a backdrop. Show off to you as audience. Fart all over the land. Show how rich they are with photo photographs and, and fur, real fur coats. Tell you that it's fake fur. Sit by a fireplace. Take some photos. And then leave. That's not really a good life, but for them, getting your attention is all they want. Are you getting what I'm throwing down? 
Disrespect my country and you're going to get your ass handed to you, Kim Kardashian. You ain't shit and neither is your money. You're fat, you're, you got a fat ass by the way. All you ladies do of the Kardashian crew. You're nasty, you're ugly, and you're raunchy. No one likes you. How does it feel to have no one like you, but then the intense energy of being attracted to something that you don't understand or it looks like a fucking a zoo, like an animal in a zoo? That's what they're attracted to. She looks like a fucking animal, a gorilla behind a cage. And then she goes like this. That's Kim Kardashian. I'm a gorilla behind the cage throwing her shit at you. <clears throat> and then acts like she's the victim because she, throw, she is making the choice to take shit out of her asshole and throw shit at you. And then the truth is, is you're all laughing at it. And then in her mind, she thinks that she's sophisticated. I'm a businesswoman. And let me manifest and convince you that I'm a businesswoman and you should listen to me. And then that you think in your mind that that's how you do a business. And then now look at where we're at. However, she's hired all these people to push and move money because her father made her the money. Born into money, LA, hello, OJ Simpson trial. We watched you growing up, you psycho bitch. We know you didn't graduate high school. We know you didn't graduate college. You cannot just show up and go to law school, bitch. You can't just show up and say you have a pharmacy degree. You don't actually really think that that personality of what Mona Van, which is not her real last name, by the way, would really sit through class to let someone educate her on pharmacy. You got to be kidding me, right? Like, that's the fucking joke. That's the joke. She's not a doctor. And the fact that she goes in and out of using doctor shows that she's fucking hiding shit. Personality is personality, folks, and her personality is what you see, meaning there's a video out there of her sitting there brushing Remy, where she says, well, I don't usually let people get to know me after a year or two. Oh, okay. How quickly did I allow you to get to know the real me? And how much did you take advantage of me? The game of your business. So that's your game, bitch. And guess what? It always comes around. What goes around comes around. And it will be karma to the extreme. And I warned you about this, didn't I? I warned you that it was going to be worse than you could ever fucking imagine. And we ain't even done yet. Stronger every single day, more tools in my toolbox to expose each and every one of you. Gary is doing a fabulous job. Congratulations, Gary. Keep up the good work. Always trying to hold money over my head. I mean, look around, look at this shit. How, how much do you make a month? I make $300 a month. Thank you. I'm really grateful. I actually don't really actually need maybe on occasion when I want to buy the dogs some dog bones. But I don't really need a whole lot. I got a lot of fucking clothes in the closet. I got way too many clothes. I'm very blessed. So you tell me. How the rat race is so fast that you're missing your entire lives. Just so Kim Kardashian and Mona Van and Emrata and all these fucking whores can look like princesses and queens when the men look at them like they're rotten tampons. What's that under your bed? It's a bloody tampon. That's Emrata's bed with the maid finding it after a night of drunk ass bullshit. 
where she says, clean that shit up. Because that's actually who they are. And that's who you look up to. All her brand. Those people don't have any emotion inside them, folks. They don't have anything to teach. So all they do is show you their tits and their ass. Just like we're going to see at the fucking white party with Menavan flipping her hair and walking around like this. While everyone knows the truth and all they can do is say, where's Cassandra? Anyway, that's all I got for you. We got to go because it's at 40 minutes and you know how long it takes to download. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a little information about marketing and the up and coming technology of psychosis of what these Indian, these foreigners, these Americans, these black people, these white people, these men, these women, these ignorant people in cans, they literally taught absolutely fucking nothing. And they disrespected Gary Vaynerchuk. They disrespected Travis and Jason Kelsey. And that goes for you too, Kylie, Princess Kylie, Kyle, whatever the hell your name is. You, you want to take a look at what happens to a woman when she has nothing to offer and her husband gets famous and then all of a sudden people like you based off a relationship? While you have three children, by the way, go look at that woman. She ain't got nothing to offer and all she does is bitch and moan and complain and she does it on video and you all like it. It's a, a major annoyance and a major thorn in someone's side like Jason, who's actually a kind hearted, hearted person who's intelligent. And all she does is put him down constantly. Says, no, you do it yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. I only was at the Super Bowl. You do it yourself. That's not a relationship, folks. That's a paper chasing trash heap who got her a diamond ring. That's the new norm of what the millennial and Gen Z of celebrity status, Brittany Mahomes, are trying to show you. And I'm going to tell you that each and every one of those people are miserable as fuck. You do not want to be them. You want to laugh at them and make fun of them and say that that ain't right because that's not what kind of life you want to live. Do you fucking hear me? You don't know how to have fun. You only know how to ruin the fun, Brittany Mahomes. Remember when there was a, a shooting at the Super Bowl party, post-party? Remember when Brittany Mahomes was abusive? Remember when she took advantage of Post Malone on the stage to disrespect her husband who just won a Super Bowl ring? Reminding you all she's ever done is spread her fucking legs, flip her fucking hair, and tell... Taylor Swift, come into the party and ruin it for all of us. We are never getting back together. What a great group of girls you got going on, ladies. A Ponzi scheme of filth. And I caught each and every one of you red fucking handed, bitch. That's all I got.